should have seen us when we went down to the uh, illegal checkpoint. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I put the videos up. Uh, the police were talking. We're saying we don't mind breaking, uh, violating the Fourth Amendment. He said that on freaking. Well, on, I hope we got it. I hope it. I got it on I film because I've got it up on my site. I mean, he was talking like, right to me. I was like, and it's you like guys we, don't mind violating the Fourth Amendment? He's like, nope, not at all. No, and I don't mind. Wait uh, a second. You just said you swear an oath to uphold the Constitution? And that's when I said, hey, Glenn, get over here. Like, because I was out of juice. I, my, my, uh, my shit was done. Oh, shit. Well, what's the Constitution look like now with the. Uh, American Union. I mean, it's a totally different constitution. Yeah. But again, again it's, nobody their, knows it's it. their constitution the is private. The borders here's, are here's uh, the key, wide though. open. Yeah. Here's the key. That's their rules anyway. Yeah. We don't have to abide by the constitution. That's their rules. We ordain the government. So we don't we're not bound by any of the rules. Because we create the people who create the rules. So like if people go like, are you a citizen of the United States? Well no, I'm not a citizen. I just flipped it over. That's, you know, yeah. Maybe we can get people together on and tweak it. Any you like, man. I don't care what it's called. But well, I think it's more like you don't call it anything. It's just it is. It, it is. Yeah. It is. The foreigners in this country right People say like, where do you live? I live everywhere. Do you work? Well, I think everything's working. I think it, my heart's working. My mouth is working, obviously. Everybody fucking knows that. That's right. Everybody knows my fucking mouth works. That's right. So I am That's definitely right. working. That's right. Job? Are you employed? Are you involved Every in a ploy? Day. Are you engaged day. in a fucking ploy? Who are you employed by? Who is directing you in their ploy? Spell. Spell. Spelling. Well, there you go. It's words written down. How do you write down words? You spell. You write a spell. It's like a judge. They put on a fucking black robe. They become priests in the high court of Baal. And they do witchcraft magic against you by casting a spell. That spell is your sentence. That's right. They cast a spell, and that spell is your sentence. What do you write sentences with? Words. How do you write out words? You spell them. And if you can't comprehend that, see, that's the thing. Nobody's going to get that. Well, then fine. Then nobody will continue to be a fucking idiot. And I will continue to talk to nobody and not be an idiot. Do these undercover cops love these blue cars? There was another one just went by. You missed it. I just Probably caught him. As well as uh, the Florida Police Department, I saw they got five Apache helicopters. See that? Oh yeah, they probably have We can't have we can't have our weapons, but they need helicopters for yes. us. Grenade launchers. Then grenade launchers, yeah. yeah. Hey, one thing, one thing I don't think people around here make too much of a big deal of is y'all remember when the, that fucking Henrico SWAT team came into the fucking classrooms and they showed pictures on the news with the SWAT team guns drawn on students in the fucking classroom. Well, it's to train them and to make yeah, sure it's like to. Yeah, a couple years ago. Well, they and keep what did they doing say? it. Oh, oh some guy yeah. who didn't even show up at school may have made a threat. Did that person exist? Who knows? But you said he didn't even show up at the school, so why did they show up with guns at the school? Right. He didn't have a gun and he wasn't even at the school. So what kind of bullshit do they think we're gonna buy? Anything? Well, they control yes. the internet, and uh, once a generation of people die off, if the younger generation don't see this, they control everything. You know, they're programmed to receive. They're receiving all that garbage. This is what life is. 
when I had police in the AR-15 coming into my classroom, hold us at gunpoint in search of a, a criminal. Crazy. Right, in search of a criminal that may or may not exist. And, in this case, was never a fucking criminal in the first place. He said the story sounded like he fucking broke up with his girlfriend or some bullshit like that. Man, I don't give a fuck about stupid teenagers and their stupid girlfriends or stories that can be a pretext to people coming in to a public government building and drawing guns on Americans, on them. But they allowed it to happen. I think what I advocate in that situation is I advocate if the government can come into your school, then your student can can carry a fucking gun. Because I know if some douchebag wearing a fucking costume comes at me with an automatic weapon, he's going to be lying on his back before he gets to me. Fuck that shit. People are fucking cowards. That's the problem. That is the, all the fucking problem. They are cowards. 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 They are liars to themselves and they are cowards. And I apologize for calling them people because they're citizens and they're slaves and they're persons. But they are fucking cowards. They're cowards. Like, who's a coward? Oh, oh yeah, Nate Cox. Let's talk about him on camera. This guy, this guy pretends like he's like a government official and he pretends like I don't know, he doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about. That's the number one way to fucking get me to never let you alone again. Is if I know you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about and you pretend like you don't. That's right. You, I, if you do that to me and you think you're gonna be around in fucking politics, your or that anybody soul might belong is gonna to God, to you, but your ass gonna belong to us. It's done. You're over. So you're done deal. Nathan, cops, cops, cops. Sorry. Nathan, cops? Oh yeah, Luke Radowski. Wait, when he get caught on camera, somebody showing him evidence that he was embezzling money and spending it at strip clubs that was earmarked for victims, families of the 9-11 attacks. Luke Radowski. Adam Kokesh, or as I like to call him, Kosher Kokesh, this guy is part of every single freaking counterintelligence operation. He's in with the uh, uh, CIA front group, Code Pink, you know those people who, you know, drove the impeachment, uh, uh, the Bush movement into the ground by, by in introducing it to the American public by uh, having a six foot four, 250 pound transvestite holding up a sign during a live government hearing with the words impeach Bush. So, there you go. Oh, run by Medea Benjamin. You know, Medea Benjamin. And uh, who's the billionaire founder? Uh, Jody, Jody, Jody Evans. Who funneled money for the Obama administration, funded by the Tides Foundation. You can also find people like Phil Leto and uh, Answer Coalition and, uh, uh, what's, 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 oh, Workers World Daily, all getting funded by these same CIA front group, Tides Foundation. Uh, um, uh, uh, National Endowment for Democracy. Um, so again, Cop Lock, We Are Change, Kokesh, Nathan Cox, the Ron Paul movement, all fucking tied together. I'm not saying all the people, I'm saying the people at the top. And who are the people at the top? Look at Rand Paul. Look at whose ass he's licking today. Every day, they bring a new Jew for Rand Paul. They present, oh, Rand, here's your Jew ass for the day to lick. Rand Paul, please lick this Jew ass. And Ron Paul, hey, I don't know if anybody's seen that Ron Paul thing where he's on the internet saying, oh, I completely, I completely, you know, rebuke and do not agree in any way with any of these people who think that the US government had anything to do with 9-11 or people who question the 9-11 accounts in any way. Hundreds of thousands of people have seen that one. That's and how about all these people who are real prominent in that campaign? You see them around at every event. They're still in town. You never see them around. They'll pop back up, but they have to lay low for a while. We know it every fucking time. How many real? I mean, real. Bill Nelson, the police liaison of Occupy Richmond. When did the physical attack start on me? When I started saying, Bill, you're getting out of control. 
I'm going to have to out you as being an Army Intelligence agent. And if you're not an Army Intelligence agent, you've been telling me that for the past six years. And how did you end up being the police liaison for Occupy Richmond when I've never seen you organize anything? And where did all these other Occupy people come from? And we have these declassified documents that say the Federal Reserve Bank and the Virginia State Capitol Police, they infiltrated the Occupy Richmond movement before it started. And I've got emails from Lieutenant James Lane before I even knew what Occupy Richmond even was. Then I negotiated with the Richmond Police to put all of it on. And I told everybody, and you videotaped it. And that was the case. I wasn't lying. That's the only thing people can say about me. That's the thing. That's where it begins and ends. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. And when I say something, when I make a claim, I have proof. And if people refute the proof, they're just low-level, despicable liars. No matter what. And it's not me. It's not me. It's a tactic I use. I'm not a truth teller. The truth telling is just a tactic that I like to stick to. To, to take it away from me, so it's not about me. Because I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel. That's it. That's it. That's all we are. Our That's all we are. But again, I know what the truth is because again, Teddy, do you remember two and a half years ago? Actually, it was probably about two, two years ago, about two or three days ago, maybe even. It was 2011, and I got you to call Lieutenant James Lane. Because, and we, I have record of this, he sent a cryptic email to me that said, Head of Intelligence, Virginia State Capitol Police. And it says, contact me. Direct order, man. Direct order! He now knows that. <laughs> and he knew better then, too. Because I, you know, he knew me before that. I, not per, I don't personally, I ever, never met him personally. But he knows me. So... That's where they were setting up the whole thing. And then the actual liaison that I could talk to was Captain William Smith of the Richmond Police Department. He said it's something called the Special Events Unit. I got to go out there the night before Occupy Richmond then. And he said that we had, and we already know that they had already put the quarter bodies down there, we filmed it already knew that they brought the trash cans down there and negotiated the whole thing with William Smith. And I kept going to these meetings, giving everybody William Smith's number. Then they kept saying, you're lying, or they kept calling me a cop. And I'm like, I'm not a cop, but this is what's going on. I'm dictating to the cops how this is gonna go, and they seem to be complying. I want others to join me. Then we get, the night before, the event started, and he's playing chess at my mom and dad's house with my father, and I get a call from Captain William Smith. And he says he's gotten a direct order from the mayor, Dwight Jones, to shut down the Occupy before it started. Whether this is true or not, that's what happened. Whether that was true. I started contacting my contacts in the mayor's office. Talked to Jeffrey Bourne about this. Gave him a direct order. Told Dwight Jones, you know, Tell that son of a bitch, Dwight Jones, he better back the fuck off or he's going to have problems from a man called Chris Dorsey and Teddy Parham. Well, not a man called Teddy Parham. <laughs> and we, we directly contacted Jeffrey Bourne and directly sent that message. I sent another message through James Minor, who's a butt buddy and a, a water carrier for Dwight Jones. Right? Is that accurate statement? Yeah, okay. Uh, literal accurate statement. That's, that's, that's what I comprehend. Um, so, at that point, William Smith had already said he was not going to comply with the orders and that the occupation was going to go on and that he was going to disregard that order because it was unconstitutional. And the order was given from me and Teddy and we said, we order you, William Smith, to disregard those orders unconstitutional orders from Dwight Jones at your leader. That's what happened. When we started telling everybody from Occupy Richmond, do you remember us telling everyone from Occupy Richmond that? Silver, eyewitness, videotape this. What did they say? You're a liar. You're making this up. Not people are upset because you are taking on the liaison role or something. 
that's well, I set the whole thing up. I know, I know. You said I didn't want the. I was trying to hand it off so it wouldn't just be me. But I'm not going to hand it off and allow somebody else to run it into the ground or protect. See, they. That's right. That's what these people do. They get angry because they say they think I'm doing something. You're an idiot. And then they actually say that I'm doing something else because they're mad at me for what I'm actually doing. But they don't attack me for what I'm actually doing. They make up something else. That's what happens. That's, That's, my That's what they always do with everyone that uh, goes against the system. Right, but it was obvious. But like, the group mentality was so small because, again, I was watching Bob's Burgers the other night and, they, and then they had this little take off on, like, you know, you know, cults and, and, and like government propaganda, and they were talking about, does your, you know, like some little scout take off, does your, does your, uh, uh, um, does your group have chants and chant empty slogans? And then they showed the, uh, we are the, you know, whatever girls, we are the, you know, just like Occupy Richmond. What was Occupy Richmond? One person says something, and then 50 other people repeat back exactly what they say. Call and repeat. Just like propaganda and churches, call and repeat. I was uh, in New York um, uh, working on contract negotiations with the Occupy Movement was going on. Yeah. And I went down there, you know, I like to watch and uh, see what groups are uh, legitimate to get involved with. Yeah. You know, enough people pound their chest, enough just run around chasing their tail. You know, we yeah. need change in this country. And I saw that firsthand. I, I saw the organization, you know, uh, whether I was a union organizer or a uh, Marine uh, leader, you know, you see how, and I've read Sun Tzu, The Art of War, man, you just see how these uh, tentacles are moving throughout. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, double spies have been around, uh, Washington talked about them, they've been around forever, man. Right. Uh, I, I can't think of one good, legitimate movement out there right now that uh, is for the people. They're all twisted, like the, the Tea Party, you know. Everyone thought that was the next best thing. You know, the Koch brothers funded that, that right. whole charade. I know they're controlled, yeah. I mean, what do they think of Koch Brothers? They're like, oh, Koch Brothers, oh, white conservative, yeah. and they got you fooled. Yeah. Same thing as every other fucking time. Same thing. Yeah. No. Not, there's not one exception. Hitler, oh, all the people who ran the concentration camps, I mean, the, the numbers of, of Khazarian Germans and, and people in occupied Germany that were killed grossly exaggerated, but who run that? It ran that anyway. The Jewish Thunder Commandos. Upon the orders, who are the leaders of the Nazi party? Crypto Jews. Who really got the genocide? The German people. Who ordered that? Eisenhower. Eisenhower, what is he known as? The Swedish Jew. I showed uh, one of my buddies a video of the Mount Roosevelt Carver movement the other day. Stalin, and, uh, he said, I Churchill, was, uh, Jews. Crazy. He, he saw the uh, evidence right there where the land was promised by, uh, you know, the queen and or the uh, monarchy. Right. And uh, that's so how, this is in 1914. And, right. Uh, he said, you're crazy. That's, that's not true. It, it's right here. That's right. Yeah, what's that called? It's called the Balfour, the Balfour Declaration. Yeah. The I mean, like, again. I'm not lying, and and more than I just I'm not lying. I am an expert. I have made myself an expert, and when I say I'm an expert, it's not just me who says an ex I'm an expert. It's international news agencies, and again, it's not my information. I couldn't have done that without Silver. I wouldn't have known anything. You know, I might have been you know barking up the wrong tree for two more years. It's a team effort. It's, it's a team people, effort. Man. But again, I'm an expert. I'm an expert because I listen to other experts. Anyone who's an expert has made themselves that way right. by the same means. Right. That's right. And I'm an expert because I'm always, always talking to somebody smarter than myself. That's right. That's right. I shouldn't say that actually because I watch the news uh, every once in a while <laughs> to see what's going on. Well, then you're an expert a, on the line. There's a lot of experts on there yeah. that uh, really don't know anything. 
They know how to lie. They, 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 they know how to push. They're the expert at lying. They know how to push the news. That's forward. An agenda. They're an expert at neural linguistics. They're an expert at lulling the people to sleep and using, you know, getting them into the uh, alpha wavelength and That's and right. and pushing propaganda directly into their brain. Again, we were talking right about, today. you know, oh, the union movement is full of good people. Yeah, they're all suckers. Oh, they're good all for suckers. Good for How many of uh, our, our fellow uh, Americans are suckers? I mean, that's what we're oh, talking about. No. But the suckers is the only thing that's going to change it. When they see something, when they have the realization that this is a charade, it's all pyramid structure, and guess what? When we make what we want to make and things are looking bad down here, we're going to but collapse we just the pyramid. Yes, we need, so we need the people. We need the small group at first. Oh, Imagine absolutely. This. It has Think to about start this. with a small group. Think about this, y'all. If we were going to guarantee that we would have had 20 people out here today, 6, 8, and 12 would have been here and we would have done something good. That's nothing. Imagine if we had 40 people out here. Imagine 50, that's hardly anybody. We could block off both sides of this freaking street. How many times have you showed up to some bullshit? Bullshit! No, everybody's there in some bullshit. I was at a contract rally in New York, 10,000 people. That was a low estimate. I mean, they shut down the streets in New York. Whatever their program is. California. Y'all know about the Laurel Canyon conspiracy, about how how uh, uh, the 60s hippie movement and the music industry from the 60s all were sons and daughters of the military intelligence establishment. Jim Morrison's father was, was behind the Gulf of Tonkin, uh, um, you know, uh, incident, which was the false flag attack, which led to the, you know, Vietnam. and when, yep. you know, uh, uh, this guy Dave McGowan, who's, I think, or he's the, you know, researcher I've, I've done the most, you know, studying of, he said, here's how it went. There were plenty of demonstrations, you know, against the, uh, the Vietnam War, and what did it start off with? College students, suits and ties, wearing dresses, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, women wearing skirts, all this, the best and the brightest. So what did the anti-war movement become? The most disagreeable, the thing that, that the American people, you know, that, that cut it, everything the American people thought was, uh, uh, was sacred, they were the creative dissension by design, they, brother. They were, they, were the, uh, uh, they were the unwashed masses. They were the foul and the filthy. They were, you know, and that's by design. Because they wanted to, like, separate. They didn't want to go, like, oh, you know, we got college students handing out anti-war pro you know, propaganda. We got to turn them into the hippies. We got to bring the communists in. We got to, you know, degrade everyone. We got to tell them to tune in, turn in, drop out, whatever. What was that? Fucking Leary, Kesey, all assets. Thompson, an asset. Hunter Thompson, freaking asset. Four, Zappa, an asset. Look, Ford featured Merrill, Frank Zappa. Jimi Hendrix, Army Intelligence. Look at the Beatles in the creation of the Beatles, The Avistock Institute. Uh, the Avistock Institute. Right. The Carnegie Institute. All together now. All together now. Yeah. Communist propaganda. Blue Mimi. You know, all that stuff. It's, it's there. It's just all symbols. You're being duped. Don't bring me down into it. I know. I can decode this stuff. You know, I know that I know how to work magic. I know these magic tricks. I know all these like magic spells. I don't need to do any incantations or anything. I know them. It's just open mouth, out words. Walk forward, put hand on, on camera, film. If need be, walk towards individual. If need be, walk back from individual. If need be, put hand on gun. That's, that's it. That's all that people need to know. They don't really need to know any magic. I know about the, you know, you know Hollywood and uh, you know magic wands and all that stuff. Yeah, I know. I know all that shit. I can practice it pretty, uh, pretty powerfully. But you know what? I don't have to, and I don't. But 
I do. It's a paradox. A pair of oxes. Bomb. You know what? That's why they still burn those babies. They still do that. Cremation of care. Because they're just, you know, re recreating, putting the baby in the hands of the bull god ball and having them incinerated at uh, all costs. And also Molech. Molech, yeah, same, same, yeah. But yeah, that's that might even be more accurate, but it's the same thing. Same thing, same, same thing. thing. Yeah, and it's like the Bible is the same thing. It's like you said, it's all a paradox. Because like, it is. It's both sides, but you have to unite the one. Money, what the fuck is money? Mono eye, the one eye. What does Jesus say? Like, those with the one eye, they shall see. It's all the same. Go to the Vatican. Why did they have money coming to the pine cone? They got it on the back of the money. The pine cone leading up into the all-seeing eye. That's the money. Green. Money. You know, in lieu of having your third eye open, they'll give you this money to get all the things that you already have that you're already born. Well, I'm an aggregator of information, and I got that from somebody named Mark Passio. So, uh, um, you know, you got to study occult knowledge, or you don't know anything. That's all it is. Like, because numbers, yeah. He's it's been around long enough. It's time for him to drop. <laughs> drop it like it's hot. Well. But the young people, I feel that today is going to take the young people, young people to change the world. Oh. This is going to take the young people. What did we see when the police were telling these people that they couldn't even stand on the sidewalk? They turned around and left. They're scared. They right. know. They're yeah, they're like, oh, you, how, can, how dare you talk to the cops that way? They're here to protect us. It's like they're telling you to Some go inside. A few of them got brave after they were shown an example. After they yeah, said, they walk oh, up. We are going to go by this police line, and we're going to sit here with our arms folded, and and nobody's going to say or do anything. Well, in 2005, didn't the Supreme Court uh, change, uh, I guess, their uh, mission to uh, set a protective serve to uh, enforce the laws? That was the drastic change that uh, we haven't heard a lot about. Well, you know what? I'm happy about that. They don't even know Their what the law, law means. Right. And then when, they, when you actually talk about the law, they say they don't have any problem, you know, uh, breaking violating it. and yeah. breaking it. And again, when it's all caught on camera, what do they do? I mean, what art? I mean, has anybody in the Richmond for Better, Go for Better Government talked about what they are doing to like Teddy and I, where they're basically just dragging us out, yes. violating the law in front of everybody, and yes. then like, we're contacting everybody we could possibly contact, and basically they're saying, we're yeah. not even going to let you say what actually happened. Yeah. I've seen other groups before too, like uh, Bombs Not Bombs, Jobs with Justice. Are they active here too? Do you guys uh, work with them? Yeah. I've worked with Food Not Bombs. Yeah. I started working with them back in like 2003. Uh -huh. But they're they're like, man, they, when, when they're, they, they change. They're either like hourly controlled or they're so like, such a bunch of like, like uh, uh, neurotic, like, sensitive individuals that nothing can ever get done. Justice groups exactly. like yeah. their money from the unions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, like Mo, okay. Mo's, yeah. Mo's the, Mo does a lot of the, the food not bomb stuff now. Um, yeah. I mean, she knows about all this stuff. She's attacked me in the past for going after the Federal Reserve Bank and doing you know, my 9-11 stuff. I don't know whether she's still like that, but I know that that comes from the influence of Phil Aleto. Marxist, communist. And her father being a right. lawyer. Well, that's got a I, I mean, well, I mean, there's any number of things. The bottom line is, these are all irrefutable facts. We're out here demonstrating this. Um, I'm glad Lewis brought up the point because I, I like people when they when they sit, you know, critique me. They say, "Oh, you can't tell them Israel did 9/11." then basically you're telling me I can't tell them the truth. That's right. And if I can't tell them the truth, 
What did you say? What did well, you say? And I was talking to him over here. I think the whole just uh, delivery. You know, we have the same message. Message delivery. But different. the delivery is not my responsibility. No, and I because because different strokes the, for different folks. Right. Because pretty much yeah. they've delivered the message to me and said uh, when they they had the program, the lone gunman. You know, four months before 9/11, and they said, "Oh, the plot of this show is that." Rogues within the Defense Department are going to fly planes into the World Trade Center and use it as a pretext. They told me, okay, when when George Bush opened the book, my bed goes, and the children recited the chants led by the witch, steel plane must hit building, and then the 9-11 attacks happened. They told me. So, like, I don't like their delivery, but they told me. Right. So I can't say that they didn't tell me. Yeah. So when somebody gets told the facts, that's the way I've been told the facts. And I know the facts well. Throughout my life, oh, I I've learned the best facts by somebody coming to me and going, Chris, you're a dipshit because you think this, and here it is. You've been wrong this entire time, and then I might not like it, but I certainly know, and I can either choose to get my old butt hurt about how somebody told me and continue to live a lie, or I can say, wow, that person did me a thing, and I wouldn't right. listen to it any other way, right. or they could have told me that. People don't all receive it that way. It's only people right. all receive it that way. Persons and citizens do not. Well, we'll look at it that way. Just the point was, what are our goals as a group, you know, the Occupy movement? Regardless of where it was funded, people saw it grow and wanted That's to be right. part of it. What are our goals? And if we're alienating anyone or, you know, making them feel bad, giving them this truth, that, that was the only point uh, we were discussing over there. Right. You know, I don't what, want what are people the goals? like that. Right. Like, yeah. I want other people to work with citizens and persons like that because they'll follow anything because they're basically weak individuals. But I want to be with leaders and strong people. That's right. Yeah. And, and then they can, we can disseminate up. down to these people and we'll, we'll rule over them, but instead of ruling over them and killing them and lying to them, we will help them out and tell them the truth. But like, I'm certainly not going to be hamstrung by a bunch of slavish idiots. That, well, the truth the truth no matter which way it's spoken. Right. So. The truth the truth, yes. Yeah. Alright, sir. Yeah. So we're we're Take it easy. Nice seeing you, buddy. You know, uh, um, Take care. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of. Yeah, we're. we're